In this video, I'm going to be building the best possible team for under 1 million MT in NBA 2K22. My team, our starting point guard for this million MT squad builder is going to be the Dark Matter Luka Doncic. Now guys, there's been a massive market crash happening right now. Luka Doncic is actually a buy now. This is the first time he's ever been a buy now. You can get this Luka Doncic card for 90,000 MT. He's going to be a point guard shooting guard, 6 foot 7 tall with a 6 foot 8 wingspan. And we all know how overpowered Luka Doncic is going to be, especially on next gen. His stats really don't matter. It's just going to be when we come to the animation screen, we can see he's got the Luka Doncic, Luka Doncic on very quick. And this jump shot is pretty much uncontestable on next gen. So for only 90,000 MT, Luka Doncic is going to be an amazing starting point guard. At our starting shooting guard, this is definitely going to be one of our cheaper cards, but it's going to be the Dark Matter DeMar DeRozan. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super high on DeMar DeRozan. I think he's a very, very good shooting guard. He's basically just a budget invincible T-Mac. They play the exact same. They have the exact same kind of player model. They kind of play very similar because of their jump shots and their dribble sigs. If you guys don't know, this is the exact same jump shot T-Mac has and the exact same dribble sig. So the only difference, I think T-Mac is like an inch taller with maybe like an inch on wingspan. But for like 20,000 MT, you're going to get like 90% of T-Mac out of DeMar DeRozan. For our starting small forward, we're going to go with the Dark Matter Jabari, uh, Jabari Smith. Guys, this card is so cheap and super good right now. Like literally, this card is 45,000 MT. And I think you could make the argument he is the best small forward in the game. He's a power forward small forward, 6 foot 10 tall with a 7 foot 2 wingspan. We look at the stats, it's pretty much like an invincible card going to be an amazing defender and then he's also got 45 hall of fame badges which is obviously going to be pretty much like an invincible card but that's not even the craziest thing it's when we come to the dribble sigs he's got quick dribble style d row size up trey young escape with the scotty pippen behind the back basically the best dribble sigs in the game and he's also got a very good jump shot so for our starting small forward only 45,000 mt and we are going to get jabari smith now for our starting power forward there's a couple different options you could go with I'm just thinking about this now. This is like the same starting lineup as my 500k team builder, but my bench for this team is going to be so much better. But this is just such a good lineup, man. Like, I mean, this lineup is only going to cost us so far. Like, I think Cream, yeah, Cream is a buyout too now, which is kind of nuts. He was like 150k for a while. Now this Cream will do Jabbar card is like 90,000 MT. He's a center power forward, seven foot two tall with a seven foot five wingspan. He's still going to be one of the best power forwards in the game right now. He's obviously going to play very similar to his invincible card. And then he's got a very good jump shot. So Kareem for only 90,000 MT is going to be an amazing starting power forward. And this is where we get a little bit different. And this is where we get one of our best cards on our team. And that is going to be Dark Matter Taco Fall. You can easily get a taco for around 300k right now maybe 350 300k to 350k and guys if you don't know i still think taco is still the best center in the game and he probably will be for a while until we get a new taco or maybe a new yao ming he's a center seven foot six tall with an eight foot four wingspan this dude is just absolutely a glitch in the game right now and he's even got really good stats 82 three ball 87 mid-range 82 speed obviously going to be a great defender and a great rebounder and surprisingly enough he actually has a very good jump shot base 47 kobe bryant upper on that very quick release timing so taco fall is going to be our starting center for around 300 to 350k at the backup point guard spot we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the dark matter dyson daniels if you guys don't know i think dyson daniels you could debate is the top three point guard in the game right now you could debate he's better than Jokic and guys like Harden. I think Jokic might still be a little bit better, but Dyson is easily a top five point guard in the game. He's a point guard shooting guard, six foot eight tall with a seven foot wingspan. The dude's stats, just like Jabari Smith, are basically going to be like invincible cards. And then he's also got pretty much the best sigs in the game. Quick dribble style, D road size up, Kobe Bryant escape with the Scotty Pippen behind the back. And then he's also got the X and base and he's got the normal leaner as well. Just like Jabari Smith, going to be super cheap. He's around 45 to 50,000 MT. But guys, this is where we start getting crazier than the 500k team, uh, 500k team squad builder. We are going to go at the backup shooting guard position. We are going to go with the hero Michael Jordan. If you guys don't know, this card is only 150,000 MT right now, which obviously has dropped in price crazy amounts from like a week ago or two weeks ago. Like this Michael Jordan card is still, you could debate the best shooting guard in the game. I think there's a little, you know, some better options in Jordan now. Maybe a guy like Kobe, maybe a guy like Carmelo Anthony, but Jordan is still super elite. Six foot six tall with a six foot 11 wingspan. He's basically going to be like his invincible card. And then we all know Michael Jordan got very good sigs 
quick dribble style oh uh, yeah quick dribble style Kyrie Irving size up Trey Young escape with the Scottie Pippen behind the back and we all know Michael Jordan's got a very good jump shot he's got that normal leaner so for only 150,000 MT I think this is going to be a great pickup of Michael Jordan and then at the backup small four position we are going to get still one of the best small forwards in the game and that is going to be hero Giannis. once again he's dropped in price like crazy i'm pretty sure he's only like 125k right now you might be able to get him for even cheaper than that and he's going to be our lockdown defender off the bench he's a power forward small forward six foot eleven tall with a seven foot four wingspan and he's here just to play defense man look at these defensive stats look at these defensive hall of fame badges like this dude is an absolute monster at the small four position animations wise he's even got a jump shot on very quick which is super easy to green it's a super fast jump shot he's got the normal leaner he's got the shifty dribble style i mean there's nothing really wrong with Giannis, especially if you're just going to use him as a lockdown defender or a backup power forward we need to go with a guy a little bit cheaper and we're going to go with the dark matter mark williams if you guys haven't used this card he is honestly one of the best power forwards in the game right now looking at mark williams here on 2kdb he's going to be a center power forward seven foot two tall with a seven foot six wingspan that's going to be amazing to have at that power forward spot he's going to be super tall have a great wingspan be have a really good player model in game and then when we come to the stats he's going to be a great defender a great rebounder and overall just going to be a very very good power forward for only 15,000 mt he's going to be one of the best value power forwards in the game right now and then guys to round off the 1 million mt squad builder we're going to go with in my opinion the second best center in the game and that is going to be the dark matter yao ming if i can spell his name right yeah so yeah guys dark matter yao ming he is going to be our backup center i think taco and yao are the two best centers in the game so we got both of them on this squad he's a center seven foot six tall with a seven foot nine wingspan and the crazy thing about this yao ming card as you guys can see he is a glitched card which means he's going to have a 93 three ball 93 mid range have hall of fame blinders catch and shoot corner specialist limitless spot up and sniper and then obviously yao ming is just going to be super glitchy on offense and defense great rebounder great defender and honestly surprisingly enough he's got a very good jump shot this set shot eight is super money on Yao Ming maybe it's just his upper or maybe it's just them both combined together but this jump shot is super easy to green so yeah guys this is going to be my 1 million mt squad builder and Yao Ming goes for around 150,000 mt let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace